control key is used by Minicad systems to initiate additional behaviors during certain drawing and editing functions. But the problem is, is that the functions of the control key are hidden from the user unless you read the documentation. For this reason, Brixis added an on-screen tips widget that lets you know what pressing the control key will do. Let's immediately go into an example of using selection. I'm starting here crossing selection, and you can see the tips widget at the bottom. When I press control, it jumps to the next one, which is face selection. Press control again, edge selection. Press control one more time, and it's back to body selection. That white CTRL button doesn't do anything. It just reminds you to press the control button to access the different functions. I'm going to press it twice more and click and you can see that BricsCAD has selected just the two edges that were inside the crossing selection window. It did not select those outside of it. Let's take a look at the elements of the tip switch to see what each of the items means. I'm going to start that crossing selection again to bring up the tips widget and now we can look at each item in a row. So the first one just is an explanatory one. It tells you you press the control key to toggle the options. Pausing the cursor over the control key explains exactly the same thing. When I pause the cursor over each of these icons, it tells me what it does. Select entity, select face, select edge, and then finally at the end, we can dismiss it by clicking the X. Now it's not just ordinary X, it means it never comes up again. Let me show you how that works. I'll click X. And now when I do a crossing selection, the tips widget does not appear. But don't worry, we can bring it back and I'll show you that next. BricsCAD lets you determine when the tips widget comes up. And to access that control, you go over here nearly to the end of the status bar, right click tips, and then choose configure. Up pops this dialog box. You can see this dialog box controls when the tips are shown or hidden. It's there for a variety of commands, as well as arrays, emulators, polylines. Those three I'll show you in the next segment of this video. And then down here is the one we've been using, display tips when using window selection. Click OK to close that. And now when I do a windowed selection, it comes back again. I'm going to show you how the tips widget works with polylines, M leaders, and associative arrays because those are new to BricsCAD version 17. When I move the cursor over the polyline, you can see the tips widget coming up. When I press the control key, it's, it switches between select the entire polyline or the segment under the cursor. Similarly with the M leader, when I move the cursor over it, I can choose between the entire polyline or just the current leader. And finally, with associative arrays, when I move the cursor over, it's the entire array or the element under the cursor.